Welcome to this service at Faith and Victory Church. This is the place to come to receive your miracle from God. Now, let's join our service already in progress. Matthew 20. 29 through 39. 34. Mark 10. 46 through 52. And then Luke 18. 35 through 42. All right. And it doesn't matter which one we read. I'm going to kind of read out the same way. How about that? But we'll read from Mark. How about that? Now, um, I believe Matthew, yeah, Matthew says two blind men. The other one's cover is one, okay? But that's okay, all right? Matthew tells, you know, sometimes they just picked up the story and carried it, um, but you didn't have to have, but... It's not a discrepancy. It's just that they told a, a partial part of the story. But let's go from Mark, or our account. Mark 10, 46. And they came to Jericho, and he went out of Jericho with his disciples, a no, great number of people. Blind Barnabas, the son of Timaeus, sat um, by the highway side begging. Now, that's why, because, you know, uh, sorry, um, because we have, we got blind Bart, all right? I am not going to try to spell Barnabas. <laughs> We've got blind Bart here. And um, that is I M A E U S. That's why I'm not going to try to spell it. The son of Timaeus sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Now, probably what happened was blind Bartimaeus was here and he had another blind guy with him. And, and when he heard him cry out for Jesus, he began to cry out with him. And so Matthew picked up that part of the story, but uh, they specifically picked up blind Bartimaeus here. Uh, maybe because they wanted that, that when Mark was writing, he wanted to attribute, you know, have it specific that there was somebody we could get, uh, go back and account this to or whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to ask the Holy Spirit why he emphasized it that way. All right? Later. In heaven. <clears throat> um, cried out and said, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace, but he cried the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And, the, and they called the blind man, saying, Be of good comfort. Rise, he calleth thee. Now, one minute they tell him, Shut up, shut up, shut up. Now Jesus wants him, Oh, come on, come on. The master wants you. Aren't people finicky? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. Now, that was his... Do you know what that was? That garment? The garment was a beggar's garment. Am I spelling this right? I thought it was AR, then, okay. It was kind of like a license to beg. Okay? When Jesus said, come, he threw it away. He cast it aside. Why? <laughs> this is my day. I ain't going to be begging no more. <laughs> All right? I'm not going to be begging anymore. I, that, those days are done forever. You know, Jesus is calling me. Here it goes. I'm going to go get healed. See, that's, that's why the Bible put that in there. There's a, there's a reason that the scriptures can be so specific sometimes. You know, we, we, we kind of just overlook it without really realizing this was a beggar's garment. This gave him the right to beg. Uh, it, was, it was like a legal license for him to be begging. People could recognize it. He was blind, so they, you know, okay, he gets a beggar's garment, and he, people can give to him knowing that it's, a, it's really, he's not, a, he's not a shyster. But he gets up, <laughs> there goes the garment. Why? Because I'm going to the master. 
Hallelujah. See, faith, when it's coming to the master, when it's coming to God, when it's coming to receive from heaven, it, it's, it's throwing off the stuff of the world. It's throwing off the unbelief. It's throwing off the past. And it's saying, I'm, I'm coming to get what I can't, I, my, my, my need met. I'm coming to get my healing, praise God. I'm coming to encounter God, glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. So he cast it away. He cast away his garment. Okay, he cast it away. And Jesus said to him, what were you that I should do unto thee? The blind man said, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said, go your way. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately he received the sight and followed Jesus in the way. <laughs> well, now, so what kind of healing is this? It goes into the category of what? Faith. How do you know? Because Jesus said so. Well, you know, I mean, he was just, be no, Jesus didn't make up stuff just to be nice. God doesn't say things to make people feel good. Now, that, that, listen, now, I'll be honest with you. Sometimes you listen, listen to some people in our circles, and they, they won't ever say anything negative. They won't ever tell anybody they're wrong. Oh, no, we can't make them feel bad. Wait a second. The Lord chases them. He loves. He told the woman the other week, we talked about, uh, I think, last week or the week before, that Syrophoenician woman, that, you know, it's not right to take the children's bread and give it to the dog. She said, yeah, Lord, but even the dog will get the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Now, paraphrasing that, yeah, that's all right, Lord. Just give me a crumb. Just, I, don't, I don't need the bread. I just need a crumb. Great is your faith, go your way, be it unto you as you will. And the daughter was healed the same self hour. Self, self same hour. We come here, and the master says, it is faith made him whole. Well, but look at the action. He's crying out as Jesus is going by. Shut up, shut up. I ain't shutting up. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Finally, Jesus stops and says, bring him here. Oh, the master wants you. Yeah, that's, that's the sensation seekers. That's the one who want to be around because, you know, because, of the, you know, because they're, they're sensational. They want to be around him because, you know, he's a star. They're not there to receive from heaven. How do you know? It's the same crowd that throngs him in places and they don't get anything. Until the touch of faith shows up. Well, he says, come. Okay, blind Bart, show up over here. And he cast away his garment. He took his beggar's garment and threw it up. Why? Well, I ain't going to need it no more. It's the last time I'll ever have to wear it. Don't need it anymore. And he comes to Jesus. What do you want? He said, receive my sight. Well, go your way. Your faith made you whole. And he's healed immediately and follow Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. But see, this action right here demonstrated his faith. He's casting away his beggar's garment. I don't need it anymore. I don't need it anymore. Because I'm coming in contact with my answer. Woman with the issue of blood. If I can touch him, but I'll be whole. If I can touch with his clothes, I'll be whole. If I can touch with his clothes, I'll be whole. She didn't cry. She, was un she didn't care she was unclean. She didn't care she had spent all her money with nothing better, but rather grew worse. She didn't care about anything else. If I can touch him, I'll be whole. If I can touch his clothes, I'll be whole. This man, I'm not going to need the beggar's garment anymore. I'm not going to need it anymore. I'm not going to need it anymore. <laughs> the master called me. And he gets healed. I said he gets healed. Now, according to Matthew's gospel, his buddy gets in on it too. See, faith will inspire other people. Amen. I said faith will inspire other people. Yes. We then have in the same spirit of faith. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. As it is written, I believe. Therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. See, the word of faith is taught, but the spirit of faith is caught. It can get on you. Yes. You, can, you, can be a, you can be contagious with faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. See, they thought the lepers were contagious with leprosy, but you can be contagious with faith. Glory to God. Yes. You can go around people and get off on them. Hallelujah. Yes. That's why I'm, I'm telling you, you know, uh, it's, it, it does matter who you hang out with. Oh, yes. It does matter who your buddies are. It does matter where you sit under. Why? Because the spirit of faith can be caught, so can the, can the spirit of unbelief. 
You get, get around hanging around a bunch of unbelieving believers? See, we're called believers because we're supposed to believe. But I've seen a bunch of unbelieving believers. Got more faith in their doubt than they do in the Word of God. Got more faith in the circumstances than they do in the Word of God. But I'm telling you, we need men and women who, who could be like this blind Bartimaeus. Blind Bart, we'll just call him blind Bart. Hallelujah. Not Bart Simpson, but Bartimaeus, the son of Theas. Hallelujah. You know, he cast away that garment. He got up. Take me over there. I can't see how to get there, but take me over there. That beggar's garment's gone. I'm coming in faith. What do you need from me? I need my sight. It's yours, but by faith. How did I got it. And instantly was healed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Can you say amen? amen? You know? And so, I mean, we know we have the man with the dropsy. He got his because one of the young gifts of the spirits. Jesus exercised his authority or sovereign manifestation of God. You know? But the one leper came back and, and, and see... Those, all ten of them were supposed to go show themselves to the priest and receive the covenant. They got cleansed, but one came back and got everything back. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I said glory to God. So what do we take from this? What, what are we taking from all of this, all these 19 different healings where we got, you know, 12 of them that, 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 that attribute faith to it? Hallelujah. When we see actions, we, you know, and we can't just copy actions. This man wasn't copying something he'd seen somebody else do. He's blind. But he knew when the master called him, it was his day. He cast the garment away. He didn't need it anymore. That was his livelihood. Are you here? That was the food on his table. That's when he needed to have a place to live. But not after today. I don't need a beggar's garment anymore. Because I'm going to the master. He put his faith in the master. That is our. Okay. He put his faith in the master. When Jesus said, come. I mean, remember Peter walking on the water. Now, most people remember Peter sank. But he walked first. Hello? I said he walked first. It was when he let the circumstances overtake his thinking that he sank. He didn't jump out of the boat and sink. He jumped out of the boat and walked. And I got news for you. Jesus didn't drag Peter back to the boat. He didn't grab his hand and put and say, okay, oh, come on, Peter. You know, here guys, throw him in the boat, pump the water out of him. And they went back to the boat together. When, when Jesus grabbed his hand, it was, get your eyes back on me. And they walked. He didn't sink into the guy's eyes off of Jesus. And this man had his spiritual eyes on Jesus. He cast the garment away, his beggar's garment, and in faith he came to the master. He, he, he was not leaving there blind. He was not leaving there needing to go back and beg again. Because his faith said, the master is here. And I'm receiving from the master. He cried out for mercy. And what did he, he needed healing mercy. And when he got to Jesus, Jesus said, what do you want? I need, I want my sight. Well, go your way. Your face made you whole. And boom, his eyes opened up. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? amen. Well, did you enjoy this? The 19 healings in the ministry of Jesus? Amen. Praise the Lord. We got a lot out of this. You know, there's, there's so much. But we keep coming back to one thing over and over and over again. We keep coming back to the covenant. The redemptive truth of healing. It is a redemptive truth under the covenant name of God, Y-H-W-H, translated Lord, Yahweh, or Jehovah. King James will translate like this. The, the, some, now, you actually have some Bibles that put Jehovah in there. And some newer ones will put, maybe put Yahweh in there. But the King James and some of the older versions will put the, the word Lord in, in small caps. It's all, that, these are all the same thing we said before. It is the redemptive covenant name of God. He is Jehovah Rapha. The Lord that healeth thee. We have, according to the book of Hebrews, a new covenant established upon better promises. 
Now, we do know one thing. Now, think about this now. Now, Hebrews 13, 8 says that Jesus is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. All right? Etern he's, just, he's, 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 he's eternal. The character of God does not change. God is who he says he is. Jesus said, I only do those things which I see my Father do. Amen. Hebrews chapter 1, look over there real quick. Hebrews chapter 1. God, who at sundry times and in different divers or different manners, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son. Now, wait a second now. Jesus, according to Hebrews 1. <laughs> Boy, I'm trying to squeeze that in a little hole. All right. Hebrews 1. 1. And we'll go down like, oh, oh 4. We'll just go to 4. All right. What? It says, God has spoken. How? By his son. What did John 1, 1 say? What does it say, remember? In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God. Okay? The Logos. Word. It's the sum. Rhema is is a, is a man is a revealed part, but the, this the whole council, the whole embodiment of the word, is the logos. Okay, so we have Hebrews one one through four. God has spoken to us. What does that mean? What does it mean? God spoke to us. Jesus made it real clear in John's gospel. He that has seen me has what? Has seen the Father. So when we look at the ministry of Jesus, it's God speaking to us. He told Philip, because Philip said, show us the Father and it's enough for us. He said, have I been with you so long you don't get it yet? I, I'm kind of paraphrasing a little bit. You don't understand, you don't get it yet? If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. And then we have God saying in Exodus 15, 26, I am the Lord that heals thee. And then we find in the Bible that Jesus went round about the villages teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and disease among the people. Acts 10, 38, we've already quoted that earlier, and I think we wrote it down somewhere, maybe we didn't. You know, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power, who went about doing good, healing all who were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Hebrews 1, God has spoken to, hath in these last days spoken to us by his Son. So when we look at the ministry of Jesus, he, Jesus said, if you see me, you've seen the Father. I challenge people, go find where Jesus made them sick. Go find where he killed him. Go find where he just walked up some healthy guy down in his own business, laid his hands on him and said, be sick, you need to learn a lesson. You can't find it. Why? Because it's not in the character of God. He is the covenant God who is the great physician. Amen. The Lord that healeth thee. Yeah. Okay? Jehovah Rapha. The Lord... The covenant God that healeth thee. He is he's the covenant God. He keeps covenant. He is the same. He's the God that changes not. Jesus says, I you know the word of God says in Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus Christ never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if you've seen Jesus, you've seen the Father. And why did Jesus do what he did? Because God said, this is who I am. 
and the old covenant. He revealed himself in the covenant name. I am the Lord that heals you. That's who I am. I'm the Lord that changes not. So when his son shows up and God speaks to us by his son, he acts just like what God says he is. The healer. Glory to God. Well, I just believe. I don't care what you just believe. What does the scripture say? What does the Bible say who God is? What does the Bible say about the ministry of Jesus? What does it say about his ongoing ministry? Well, he needed that while he was on the earth to prove he was God. But he still says he's the same. He didn't suddenly become the oppressor and the devil become the healer because when he went to heaven, he's the same. It is the character of the Father that is in the Son that God spoke to us by. Who has spoken unto us by his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. So when God, the Bible says God made the heaven and the earth, Jesus. Here, right here. Hebrews calls Jesus God, equal with the Father. Who being the brightness, that word brightness really means outshining, express image of his glory. I mean, sorry, I mean, uh, the outshining of his glory, the express image of his person. Upholding all things by his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of majesty on high. Notice, he is the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. That's why when Jesus said, he that has seen me has seen the Father. And then Jesus went on John's gospel and said, this is, you know, we find this in John's gospel. What else did he say? The works that I do. I hope y'all can get this. The Father does what? Does them in me or doeth them in me. We'll just put them, doeth them, okay? The works I do, the Father doeth them in me. I only do those things which I see my Father do. If the Father were making people sick, Jesus would have had to make people sick. Come on. I only do the things I see my Father do. So if the Father were making people sick to teach them a lesson, Jesus would have made some folks sick. And he never did. We have no record of it. I said we have no record of it. Are you here? He just didn't walk up to normal people and put something on for, for some unknown purpose. Anybody here? Y'all go home. Did y'all get anything out of that? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, I hope you did. We got, we got to stop. It's, it's time to stop. Praise the Lord. So I trust you got something out of that. Uh, let's go ahead and receive tonight's offering. Praise God. Amen. If you need an offering envelope, raise your hand. The usher, uh, usherette is in the aisle. Hallelujah. If you're on, uh, online and giving, you can give through um, um, uh, PayPal at donations at fdc.org. Uh, you can give through Square Cash. You have to, go, you have to download that app. But uh, you can give uh, uh, at hashtag FBC. Cash.me forward slash Dollar sign, Faith Victory Church. The word and is not there. Faith Victory Church. So dollar sign, some people call it the hashtag. Ha, uh, dollar, so M-E. You know what? We'll put it right here. That's the harder one. PayPal's donations at FEC.org. Me dot cash slash dollar sign, Faith Victory Church. No spaces and no and. Okay? All right. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Y'all ready? Father, we bless those as they tithe and give. We thank you the blessings of God overtake them now. We thank you they walk in full supply, overflow, and abundance. In Jesus' mighty name, we declare it as so. And thank you for it, Father. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. Amen. All right. God bless you. We'll see y'all next. We trust that you were blessed by the Word of God and the flow of the Spirit of God in this service. If you would like to contact us, please write us via email at office at fbc.org or using our mailing address, P.O. Box 7752, Greensboro, North Carolina, 27417. If you would like to contribute to our ministry, please go to our website at www.fbc.org and click on the Giving Online button. Thank you, and may God richly bless you for your giving.